This video demonstrates the FMPro Migrator Code Conversion Workbench converting COBOL using Olama to run the following models locally. DeepSeq R1, Microsoft's 5.4, and Google's Gemma 2. I will also show Google Gemini hosted in the cloud. It is important to run LLMs locally to meet privacy and security requirements for customers and in industries such as healthcare, finance, and government agencies with air gap servers in their data centers. The Code Conversion Workbench supports over 50 programming languages. In this video, I will show locally running LLMs converting COBOL into Java, C Sharp, and Python. The Code Conversion Workbench also supports using publicly available models from Anthropic, Google, OpenAI, and XAI. Reasons for converting legacy COBOL code include matching the code base to the skills available in the modern workforce. Newer languages can also offer scalability via containerized applications running on public or private cloud hosting infrastructure to modernize mainframe applications. FMPro Migrator is a cross-platform tool available for Mac OS and Windows platforms. The Code Conversion Workbench imports scripts from any programming language for automated conversion projects. I've already imported a Lisp interpreter COBOL project from GitHub. Here, you can see that the conversion is being done from COBOL to Java. You can see some of the additional conversion options available in the Output Languages menu. To start this testing, I've clicked on the CISP COBOL file, I have selected Olama from the vendor menu, and I have selected DeepSeq R1 as the model I want to use. After a little less than two minutes, the script has been converted and you can see the results in the converted script field. Let's look more closely at the 105 lines of Java code created by the DeepSeq R1 model. Calls are being made to methods referenced as separate files in the original COBOL code. As a thinking model, DeepSeq has analyzed the reference code files and generated methods to represent each of those files. This can be considered an advantage if you can't locate those referenced code files. For this project, those files are available and can be converted separately and then used to replace the methods shown here. Microsoft's Open Source 5.4 14B model has been distilled from the OpenAI GPT-4 model. Essentially, 5.4 takes the knowledge from GPT-4 and compresses it into a smaller, more efficient model running locally instead of in the cloud. Microsoft's 5.4 model has created the 87 lines of Java code shown here in a little less than two minutes. The generated code is similar to the code created by the DeepSeq R1 model, and it has also created methods for the referenced external code files. Google's Gemma 2 9B model has created the 44 lines of Java code shown here in about 58 seconds. The generated code is more compact than either the DeepSeq R1 or 5.4 generated code because the model didn't write as much code for the referenced files, and being a smaller model, it ran faster too. For my next automated COBOL conversion test, I have selected the tokenizer file and I'm converting COBOL to C Sharp with the 5.4 model. After about six minutes, we see the results in the converted script field. The 5.4 model has generated 243 lines of C Sharp code, which is about 50% of the size of the original COBOL code. As I look at the tokenized Lisp procedure method, 
I notice that the is null or white space method is being used to check for the end of a token, and this is a good technique. I also notice that the variable names look very appropriate for a C -sharp program. The original WS flag yes variable from COBOL has been rewritten as flag yes in C -sharp. The logging of the text even matches the case of the original text. The remainder of the C -sharp code also looks reasonable from a conversion perspective. For my next test, I'm converting the tokenizer COBOL file into Python. After three minutes, we see the results in the converted script field. The 5.4 model has generated 88 lines of Python code. Let's focus on the 12 lines of code in the Format Lisp procedure class. If I compare this result, to the Gemini 2 flash thinking model, I will notice significant differences. The Gemini 2.0 flash thinking model has generated 209 lines of Python code from the original COBOL in 16 seconds, more than twice as much code as the 5.4 model. The format list procedure class is 100 lines of code within multiple inner classes inside the main procedure. This is significantly more than the 39 lines of code generated by the DeepSeq R1 model or the 12 lines generated by the 5.4 model. Overall, the code is well commented and readable. There are two editions of FM Pro Migrator capable of running LLMs locally via Alama. The custom dev edition is a single developer license. The site license edition is for all developers at a site. The site license edition is available with high performance server hardware optimized for running models locally. With the FM Pro Migrator site license edition, the FM Pro Migrator software runs on each client machine sending requests to the server and retrieving the converted code. This configuration ensures that the high performance CPU and GPU hardware is available to the entire team. DeepSeq R1 is a reasoning model which thinks about a problem longer and delivers more lines of code. Microsoft 5.4 is very comparable to the DeepSeq reasoning model but executes the code conversion process more quickly. For C sharp testing, the 5.4 model has generally been the best overall code conversion model running locally. Google Gemma 2 does a good job of code conversion with more abbreviated code output. Google Gemini Pro 2.0 Flash Thinking is a public model which runs faster and generates more thorough code with more comments than any of the locally running models. Gemini 1.5 and Gemini 2 models are very good options if you can use cloud-hosted models. The training records feature hasn't been shown in this video. The 5.4 and Quen 2.5 coder models have worked best locally with training records as shown in a previous video.